Well, number one and two seeds going up against each other. We got Light versus Jackal to start off winners finals. All right, I was, uh, you know, maybe get a little sleepy over there in the audience, but I'm sitting up. I know everyone's at home sitting up in the so gamer chairs, sleepy. bro. It's gonna be a scrap. Already feeling each other out, but I know once that first opening happens, it is gonna be a show. Yeah, and that's the big thing too is that you know today we were looking at what Light was doing earlier, and he was even saying like he doesn't feel like his neutral's been the best, but his advantage has been pretty solid as the day's gone on. It's definitely been waking up, and with Shackle, these two fight each other all the time, right. and there was some history with it going back and forth. I think Light's been up recent, mm -hmm. but now it's still like one of your best competition you have. Do you wake up this time? Exactly. I think we're seeing it right now. Finally, Light put a lot of damage on after that very long neutral exchange, but Jackal trying to look for the opening and respond here. Oh. The dangerous part about this too is this is essentially an even game. Oh, oh mm. well, I lied. <laughs> a whole liar. So that was even at one point because of the nature of getting that jab lock into a down smash at ledge and then you just get a follow up off stage. Jackal could close it out right here. Definitely, we've seen so many good edge guards from Jackal, but like you said, that advantage state from Light is so fantastic. And we're seeing right Right now, exactly why it's so dangerous to it's the up airs. It's been really good too because uh, the way that Light is playing, he's not only beating the jump hits, but he's stopping the air to air game. Right, you right. have to shut down Wolf's air to air game, otherwise, you're taking Nairs to the face that you do not want, which is going to condition you Ooh. into fear later that lets those backers just go crazy. And very brave, going to go with the side special onto the stage and the high recovery too, but the dash attack setting it right back up. Okay, he's going to be forced to burn his double jump there. He has to go low. This is pretty much a guaranteed Yo. attempt at that. That was really smart. Instead of trying to go for the timing on it, he made him have to go low because his double jump was already burned. He took the laser to the face. He had to go low. That was really well executed. Mm -hmm. But there it is. That Nair opening up the neutral again for Light. Trying to put the pressure on Jackal going back to the ledge. Trying to find a route with such oppressive pressure vertically, horizontally at the ledge no matter where Light is putting on the moves right now. Well, you can now. tell we've been casting Fox for quite some time because <laughs> we're just like, what that immaculate pressure at the ledge? And he jumped Nair like four times in a row. But it works. And it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Especially mm -hmm. in this matchup because of how dangerous it can be by making one mistake like what's happening right now. Exactly. It's so explosive and some bad defensive options from Light getting punished. But neutral air, good tool to reverse the it's situation. like the softest Nair too. Right. It's like, just like slightly tapped him with his boot. Like, hey, shoot, hey. shoot, shoot, stop that. Ooh, but that's oh, like you were huge Nair. What the God. heck? <laughs> Setting it up again in the down air too. Jackal putting on a show right now. Yeah, and the crowd waking up a little bit for this one. Of course, it's not as many people in the building now because we have reached the very end of the night. But good high recovery there because of where he was positioned, it was not going to be easy to confirm into an up air. I mostly would have taken that back air. Mm -hmm. Here it is, that ledge pressure, catching that jump and the shine stall with the back air. Okay, I like that. It was a very brave roll on, but working out right now, trying to go back to neutral, but the forward tilt into the back air. Reading the jump once again. Catch him with the Nair, pushing him right back off. Keeping this. Rinse, repeat. Does he jump this time? He tries to jump again. So he might be scared to maybe do a neutral get up this time. He does go for it, but Light wasn't in position to close it out. Doesn't matter, though. It's still his turn. Uh, even the jump in and the air dodge got scouted out. Fox is so fast, and Light is even faster. Going for a really big read right there. Oh, that could have been real bad if he ended up getting that grab, but that's going to be a down throw into dash attack. He does he get the double jump ring, though. He does not. AG, this has gotten way closer. What the hell? Smash cast as soon as he fades away. Light gets the first game. That tiny, tiny hurt box from Wolf. It looked like it hit him right in the back of the tail, but Light catching that fade away with a very big up smash punish, but still a nail biter, all things considered. Look at you Just know, normally there. at the day of the gym, it would be good. You know, like, hey, squat game feeling good. But right, unfortunately, right. because the squat game is so on fire, he got Shame. booted for it. <laughs> and uh, that was literally at the edge. Actually, it caught his hand. His that hand. literally wow. hit the, at his hands in the cookie jar moment right there. That caught his actual fingers and got uh, game number one. Only because Wolf loves the theatrics of it all. Couldn't just do a normal nair. Had to hit him with the pose, Yeah, too. if he just did, like, standard karate, if he just <laughs> kept your hands in up close to the chest, you wouldn't have had to worry about that. <laughs> Chassis is coming through <laughs> as production is saying. But uh, it's g game two here. Yes. Obviously, Light looked very good in that first game, but there's a reason why this history has been very solid right. uh, at points yeah. for Jackal 2. What do you think you want to see out of Jackal going into oh. this game two? Just a couple, a few more little extensions in those advantage states are all we're looking for. The Jackal fans just want a few more edge guards to connect, a few more hits with each opening, and we're kind of seeing it happen, but. Light is still just so very good at yep. tacking on so much percent and generally taking the stocks. But this opening could be big. Yeah, you can see it in Light's face too with that. And yet another whip up smash. You got to get that out of your head. You got to like put that in your back pocket because right. if you do that in front of Wolf, 90% of the time you could end up off stage for it. And that's mm -hmm. exactly what Jackal wants. So as long as he can keep that clean. But that's a big punish on that rapid jab. Forward smash all day. So sweet. 
Nice punish and still feeling good. I can see Jack was still moving a little bit. Ooh, all right, I like the lasers here, slowing it down a little bit, and that is such a big opening, even the littlest hit. He positioned himself in a spot, too, with those lasers to make yeah. it look like you could go get that grab, and he just walked away with it. Uh, of course, back here is not a real Ooh. kill move, and he holds down on that side B a lot. Yeah. Like, it's such a big hitbox. Okay, Light actually kind of getting stuck at the ledge there now. Jack will go in to opt for some more lasers and look for this opening. The back air pressure, though, finally coming in. Light going up. Yeah, that was uh, that fadeaway there. Here. Definitely helping a little bit there. As we know, back air, not really a kill move. But catches him on a jump with that dare. This is a bad position. He's going to have to take a free 37. Of course, he wasn't in a spot to still keep going. Right. But it's still, he's keeping the damage up right now. And he's not giving up stage control. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Does he get it? He gets the he extra. The jump. That was so clean. <laughs> that was so clean. And Light just stole the lead right back. Unbelievable, and such just so much confidence behind that, too. I love that. All right. Ooh, okay. Good up smash. Putting that pressure on. Part of me freaked oh. out because he dropped shield right at the moment it happened. I was like, please right. tell me that did not shield, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that mix-up. That was actually a really deceptive side special. Going to go back to the ledge. It's funny because it's one of those moments oh. like, was it a true mix-up or did he right. miss play? <laughs> We're going to believe that it was. Nah, <laughs> that's my top player. He did it on purpose. <laughs> Is that I mean, Jackal has him at 171, but it almost feels like Jackal's playing a little bit scared to try, try and approach. Granted, it's still Fox. If you right, make a mistake, right. you're getting dash attack for it. And it's actually, yeah, this is exactly why you have to be so careful. <laughs> oh my goodness, there it is, that vertical pressure we talked about. It looked rough in game one when we saw the anti-airs just in the form of the up tilts from light, but it's been so much worse now that we're seeing those up airs too. Yep. So it's not just anti-airs near the ground, it's anti you're not even getting back to the platform. Yeah, which it's so crazy because like when you look at this overall and the fact that like there are mis there are some mistakes that are coming out of light. So the whole statement of like I'm not playing my best today is is technically got some merit to it. But then the amount of damage that he gets on hit, it just doesn't matter. It's like I once I do win neutral, you're taking 40 or a reset into 70, and then I and then you're stuck at ledge. His right, positioning right. that he's still getting out of it is so good. That's exactly it. I mean, the advantage state is the most important. I, I think we're seeing exactly why right now. Even if the neutral isn't up to his standard, the punishes have been fantastic. And Jackal's not doing too bad either, hitting those combos. Yeah, Jackal gets his he gets his hits, and then he has been struggling like to reopen up. But right, when right. he does get the openings, it usually leads to a, a Fox stock. And he was very close to getting that back up, that forwarder lingered just long enough. All right, good stuff. There is some more platform pressure. And oh my goodness, the ledge pressure too. Oh my god. That's a scary situation too, because if you hold down on that up B, you yeah. can just rip somebody off stage and send them the other way. And They're Fox going. wastes nothing, so he could have died there. <laughs> so brave and such good timing too. That back here, they're going to set up for a big opportunity, but Light fighting back at the offensive option. I like that. Oh, I, that, was, <laughs> that was actually... Reckless and brave at the same time. I actually really like what he did there. Like, you think he's not going to commit to keep pressuring you there. Right. And then he goes for another forward air. <laughs> it's one of the most confusing things you get hit by. And there's that situation from before, getting that rip off the stage. And he only took 50 going into the second stop. Yeah, not too bad. Another big opening here. Some good aerials from Jackal fighting back from the ledge. But those parries are so important to mix up that aggression from Jackal. Now fighting back, going to be Jackal just going back to these lasers. Ooh. Yeah, full screen. Full screen game is kind of hard against two reflector characters. Right, right. Most of the time, when you get in this situation, it's like I need to reset the tempo. I need to reset the pace of the game, and that will work. It is kind of working right now because Light was also forced to pump the brakes, and we're actually getting close to an even game now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the lasers, not great, but still that momentum shift is big. But talking about a momentum shift, yet yeah, another. Wonderful. Edge That's confidence in your ledge trapping too, because yep. you just got hit for that after winning it before. Sometimes people will second guess it after. Not light in that spot. Now Jackal sitting on his last stock of winter side life. He still could very much bring this back, but so far light is doing an amazing job of making sure that doesn't happen. Ooh, okay, I like that. A little bit of a jump call out. It's gonna be tough too, because now Jackal's not gonna be able to slow it down too much, especially with all this pressure from Light. He but. just got 60 out of that bait on the up smash, and it is going. And oh. another perfectly spaced position. If that was a missed tech, that was probably game. He ends up dropping back off the stage though. Really good stuff. I like all of that. But even if it didn't work out, it still looked so cool. <laughs> Okay, forward tilt. Oh. That's got to be a back throw. Yeah, Light tried to go for, uh, like, in that position, if you have probably no rage, right. it probably lined up for the tech chase. And you can see he was, like, not the, like, he was a little frustrated with that. But for Jekyll, that's a gift yeah. in the gift basket. <laughs> like, all right, it's Christmas. Let's go. I definitely and heard one third of the crowd really enjoy that interaction. <laughs> <laughs> all right, going back, looking for the Nair, of course. And there it is. And the forward smash covering so many options there. Solid showing from yep. Light. That's what he was looking for. Oh. 
two interactions ago where he was trying to get that missed tech on the side, but Jekyll smartly held out and held down so he could snap ledge and get away from that. However, without the rage, you're going to be lined up in it again. And that was really well executed by Light. He didn't let his turn go away. He didn't let him start to kind of steal the game back because Wolf is so good at that. Right. There, there's no real true lead that you have against Wolf sometimes unless you're at the point where you're at like 140 mm -hmm. and he just can't kill you without a straight hit. And that's kind of what Light was able to abuse and prevent Jackal from getting started. Yeah, that's actually a very solid point too. And there is that rare miss. Jackal capitalizing, but it really was, like we talked about, Light just really taking that advantage state yeah. to, if not perfect, near perfection. Like, even though I can't beat you in every single neutral <laughs> right, interaction right. I win, I'm still getting so much out of it. And that's a big key portion of being able to play to that level. I mean, we've talked about it before. Keeping your turn is so important in this game. And sometimes it's okay to drop a combo into, like like intentionally for max damage to keep stage positioning. Right, right. And that's what like the top 10 do so well. And uh, I, I think we saw that a lot because we saw Light bring Jackal to a spot that was very rough, the yeah. ledge above the platform. That second forward air we saw. Exactly. Like, why would you do that here? But he knew that it would work because stage positioning was still there and there's no world where he was giving up control of it. So smart, so smart. And I hope everyone is taking notes at home. And we have some more notes to take. First of all, hold on. I didn't even get the paperwork. <laughs> I didn't sign anything, but I'm down with it. Shouts to House. Uh, I, you know, I expect to check in the mail. You already know. I am surprised <laughs> I didn't look at. I didn't look down and see did, like the, we the proper the name that I like. Devin dubbed me a while back, and I don't. I, I'm not. I don't feel like I've I've earned it yet. Oh. But uh, <laughs> here comes Devin. But um, on on John numbers versus Link, I don't actually know their lifetime set count, but. Uh, numbers is just so good at like breaking down the fundamentals of the game and yet another really strong stage control based player. Right. You're talking about Ling as well though, who is really good on defense. He doesn't really, he doesn't like overcommit to anything unless he gets the hit confirmed. That's what's hard about fighting Ling because you try so hard to hit him for years and then one hit of downer hits you and you are at 80. Yes, we've seen it so many times. The grab combos, the aerials, the turnip extensions are all phenomenal, and especially in this matchup, if John Numbers happens to slip up, you know that Ling is going to want to take it to the maximum. Yes. Maybe it's just a Connecticut player.